Hey everybody, my name is Kristen and this is Life Made Simple. Today I am giving you another IKEA dresser makeover. Today I am doing another piece of furniture from the IKEA Hemmings dresser line. This is their sideboard. It used to be a dark brown color and I just wasn't loving it so I decided today I'm going to show you another IKEA furniture makeover. I am so excited to do this because I have been contemplating for about six or seven months what I should do to this piece of furniture. It just wasn't going with the vibe that I was wanting for my living room and I just wanted something a little bit brighter, not so dark and that had a lot more detail in it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. This took three days to do this makeover and honestly, I am so happy that it only took three days because I spent endless hours, probably about around seven or eight hours working on this piece of furniture and I just wanted to come in and do a quick intro because I totally forgot to. So let's go ahead and get into this makeover. I will show you each day what I did and the stain combos and all the utensils and the items that I used to do this IKEA makeover. First off, I'm gonna show you everything that I used for this IKEA dresser makeover. This is the cordless Makita sander that I just got a couple months ago and I used the 80 grit and finished with the 120. Next up is these different stains. I used a combination of all three of them until I achieved the look that I really, really want. I highly recommend all of these stains. I love them individually on their own and they look really good combined together. This is the original piece that I started out with. It's their dark brown I can or yeah, IKEA Hemmings sideboard, and it has definitely been a really good piece of furniture. We've had it for about four years, but I just needed a new look. But without going and buying a whole new piece of furniture, this one was completely fine and in great condition. The doors in the side of the sideboard was the most labor intensive part of sanding this piece of furniture. The centers of these pieces were definitely made with a thinner piece of wood and it was just really really hard to get all of that finish off and get down to the bare wood so it definitely took me quite a while. I think this whole process took me about two or three hours. Okay, it's the end of night one. This is all I got done was these two doors and that drawer. This took me, no joke, probably close to three hours um, because it's really, really hard just to get all those sand. I didn't even sand the back side of those doors. I did leave like some of the stain and stuff like that in the corners and I'm hoping it's gonna look really, really good once I either put a natural stain on this or something slightly darker and maybe it'll bring those accents out and it'll make it look a little older. So we'll see, still have quite a ways to go. Hopefully this doesn't take too much longer. Day two was probably the most, uh, how would you put it? It was the biggest transformation. I got most of the bigger part of the furniture sanded that day, plus the last two drawers. So I did all of that during the day. I had a babysitter come over and she helped watch the kids. It really, really helped. And if I didn't have her help, this would probably still look like this. <laughs> so I am so glad that I got the opportunity to get out there and sand, but it literally took me all day. I had to take breaks. It went from like 70 degrees in the morning all the way to almost 100 degrees by evening time.
so this is as far as I've gotten on the top. It looks so good here. Still have a couple spots, but i am still got this area. It's going to take me a while, especially the sides are going to suck really bad, but I'll continue this tonight. Don't worry, we are almost done with sanding. I know this is very repetitive, but I'm just showing you all the steps that I took. And let me tell you, I am so glad I'm done sanding because one, it was hot, and two, I was covered each night. The two nights that I sanded, like in a black, brown layer of dust all over myself. Like, as you can tell, I went through many layers and definitely many outfit changes. So yeah, I'm so glad to be done with this part. <laughs> Finally, day three was the best day yet. It is where all of my dreams that I envisioned for this piece of furniture kind of came to life and I could see it in person and know that I didn't mess up by sanding this and making more work for myself. So I started off with the weathered oak stain and I just went over the top. I only did the top at first just so I could kind of get the look that I was going for before I went and did the whole piece of furniture. But I started off doing one layer of weathered oak. Then I did a very, very, very light coat of the I'm gonna butcher this, but it's like pro provolence or provolinsole or something like that. Um, they're all by Minwax except for the very last ones by a different company that I got at Home Depot. But after I did that, I kind of thought maybe I messed up because my goal was I wanted to go very, very light or I wanted it to semi-match the shelves that are mounted right above this. So when I put on that second stain color, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like way too red. This is not matching at all. Like I've got to somehow mute it. I think I messed up by putting this color on there. So I went ahead and put another coat of the weathered oak right on top of that. Did it very, very heavy and then wiped it all off. I definitely prefer using a rag for all my staining projects. It's just what I prefer. I think it's best. I don't really like using brushes for staining items. I've just always grown up using a rag. So I did that and then when I was a little desperate, not sure you know, where to go from here because I was over sanding. I was like determined to make this work because I was not about to get the sander back out. So I went ahead and I threw briar smoke right on top. I started out really, really light and it honestly was amazing. I ended up doing quite a few coats of briar smoke. That way I could bring in that grayest or grayest <laughs> grayish tone that I was looking for that were on the shelves and I definitely recommend it I think maybe if I had skipped out on that second color and just went with the weathered oak and the briar smoke I would have achieved it from the beginning but I do not regret anything I think it turned out amazing Okay, I'm finally taking a break from staining. I did get the whole um, TV stand completely finished. All I have left is the doors to do, the two doors. So I'll be doing that later on tonight, but I will be finishing this in three whole days, which is so amazing because I take forever to do um, you know, projects. So 
to get this done in three days and that's mainly because look at my living room we will definitely be cleaning this up and organizing it all back into the console after those doors are done which will be later on tonight so now to figure out if i'm going to put the same knobs on or if i'm going to go with a different knob which i have to see if i have enough of them i save a lot of the knobs that i buy because most of the knobs that i do buy come in a pack of like 12 or 15 so i always have a lot of extras I chose not to sand the shelves or the inside of the console or the dresser, but I also didn't sand the back side of the doors because at this point I'm like, you know what, if you can't see it on a daily basis, who cares if it's sanded, all I need is the outside to look really good. So here I'm just putting back all of the toys, we pretty much just put the kids toys in here, a couple of diapers and DVDs that we have left and some extra cords, but I went ahead did that and then I decided to change out the knobs to a black hardware that I had bought a couple of months ago for numerous projects throughout our house and they came in such a large pack that I've been able to put them on different furniture pieces throughout my house and I definitely love it because it tied in the shelves with this piece of furniture so so well. Now for the fun part of decorating, I didn't do much because I like to keep it very simple and minimalistic. So we were at Ikea recently and I picked up these candlesticks, which I don't have the actual candles for yet. Um, actually, at the time of this voiceover, I have already bought them and they are there, but during this filming, I did not. But I also bought these three baskets that are nesting baskets and I love them. I think everything goes well, so, so well. I, I get that modern farmhouse vibe and all the colors pull in really good. I love all the natural colors with the black accents and it just literally is everything that I wanted it to be. So there you guys have it. That's the end result. I am so, so happy. I'm 100% completely happy that I did this. I literally contemplated making over this piece of furniture probably for not a year but at least six seven months i've been thinking about doing this i'm so glad that i did it honestly did not take me as long as i thought it would but it did take me anywhere between five to six hours to completely sand this whole piece get it in the condition that i want it and then stain it and the staining process could have went a little faster but i was just trying to kind of figure it out as I go. This shows that I kind of wing a lot of things. Like I kind of just go into it knowing what I want and until I achieve it, I am not happy. And I'm so happy this turned out. I actually got scared quite a few times that this was not gonna turn out in the color that I wanted it. And after sanding for that long, I was like dead set. I was never going to sand this piece ever again. So it had to work <laughs> and I did it. I am so happy. We went to Ikea, picked up a few pieces that I added to it and I'm really, really loving it. I will eventually get candlesticks for these candle holders. I just, didn't find any when I was out and about the other day. So I do already have some in my Target pickup order, so I will get those later on this week. But thank you so much if you wanna see more home makeovers or 
Ikea hacks or furniture makeovers, I definitely have one coming for you in the near future. And make sure you turn on that bell notification and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Thank you so much. Bye.